like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere Akim scattered throughout the four corners, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. For those who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, in this edition of uh, Private Interpretations, I'm going to show you a video of Elder Gabar, uh, basically using private interpretations, doctrines of devils, referring to the uh, nuclear missile doctrine, which we all know through the precepts and through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, brothers has exposed these one west camps um, for basically uh, twisting the scriptures, using uh, Bible.org breakdowns and basically causing people to go off, man, all right, so this is um, a video, a recent video uh, from the Elder Gabar at uh, Great Millstone, uh, it's called uh, America is Finish, uh, which is another private interpretation, uh, these guys teach that Babylon, um, Mystery Babylon, Babylon the Great, that's referred to uh, in many scriptures, uh, mainly in um, Revelation 11, uh, is referring to America. But we know that is not biblical. And that also is uh, doctrines of devils, what they uh, stole, break down they stole from uh, Michael D. Fortner, uh, Bible.org. And if you go to my page, my channel, um, I have videos uploaded of uh, Michael D. Fortner, uh, Bible.org breakdown, uh, referring to the missiles. So this is where these guys get this uh, madness from. So I'm going to play some of his video, and I'm going to show you um, the private interpretation. Oh, that's uh, Elder Adama of uh, GMS Boston. That's his channel, GMS Fast Food. Well, he put up this video here entitled America's Finish which has to do with, uh, you know, the nuclear missiles and the prospect of the nuclear missiles hitting this place called America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. So without further ado, let me uh, get into it. I'm going to do a slight commentary to the video. You know, the nuclear missiles play an integral part in this place known as America, but in the Bible is known as Babylon the Great. The missiles play an integral part. Now, these guys keep referring to missiles. We showed these uh, guys through the precepts that the brimstone um, that the Lord referred to all through the scriptures, going all the way back to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah in the book of Genesis, um, dealing with the book of Luke. It says, in the same way, in like manner, how the Lord destroys Sodom is how he's going to destroy his current kingdom. All right? So, that brimstone is not referring to missiles, to nuclear missiles. That's a private interpretation. And it's destruction. Also, the missiles is really an army of the Lord. And that's pursuant to the book of Joel, the, the second chapter. Also in the book of Isaiah, the 54th chapter, the 16th verse, the Lord said he have created the waster to destroy. That's those nuclear missiles, man. And as you can see, no precepts. Uh, basically, the guys using private interpretations, which we're commanded not to do. Um, let's go to the book of Joel. Book of Joel, chapter 2. And let's see here, because... He just said that in the book of Joel, that's referring to the missiles, and the missiles is the Lord's army. But this is Joel chapter 2 and verse 4. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horsemen, and as horsemen they shall run. Now I'm going to give you a precept and show you what those horsemen are referring to, and it's not referring to missiles. Okay? It's not referring to missiles. Uh, this is the book of Revelations. 
um, the book of Revelations chapter 6. And um, I'm going to start at verse 4. And this is what it's referring to in uh, the book of Joel. When it talks about those horsemen. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right, and that will be one of your sword, four sword judgments. One of those so, same four angels that you can read about in Revelation chapter 7, who the Lord himself, Yahweh Shai, uh, was commanding to hold back the destruction. Um, verse 5. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. All right, so this is the Lord's army. All right, his four sword judgments. All right, those four uh, military branches. All right, the sword. Now we're reading about the famine. And beheld, and beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard the voice in the midst of the four beasts. All right, that's that's what it's referring to. That's the Lord's army. And remember. These four uh, beasts, these four horsemen, symbolizes the four military branches of Yahweh. Okay? So it says, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil or the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, <clears throat> a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto them, all right? Power was given unto them, all right? These four beasts, these four horsemen would be considered uh, the leaders of their particular squadrons, all right? Of those four branches of the Lord military. Not referring to nuclear missiles, man. All right? That's a private interpretation. And like I said, they get that from Bible.org, Michael D. Fortner. And it says, And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. All right? That's one branch. And with hunger. All right? And that's your black horse. All right? Which represents famine. That will be your second branch. And with death, all right, that will be your your third branch. And with the teeth of wild beasts, all right, and that will be your four uh, sword judgments, your four military branches of Yahweh, all right. So now let's go back to the video. All right, so <laughs> every now and again we got to get into the prophecy of those missiles. Because like I said, they play an integral part in this, the destruction of this place. Along with Yahweh Shai and the chariots. So without further ado, let's get into it. The reality is that intercepting a supersonic ballistic missile hurling through the sky is anything but simple, let alone foolproof. For starters, how far and how fast... And basically these guys are adding to the scriptures, man. The Lord said you don't supposed to make this word... With nothing. And that's why these guys use articles because they can't use precepts because they that missile doctrine is not biblical. Alright. Fast a missile can go varies widely. There's short range, medium range, intermediate range, then of course the intercontinental ballistic missile. Alright. Now she spoke about intercepting a nuclear missile, which will not be easy. When I, heard, when I heard her say that, that reminded me of this prophecy right here. In the book of Joel, the second chapter, beginning at the seventh verse. Now, when you go into the book of Joel, the second chapter, beginning at the, the second verse, it's really a metaphor for those missiles. When it says a great people and strong, it's not talking about an actual people. It's a metaphor for those nuclear missiles. 
okay? Of course, you're not going to see the term nuclear missile or missiles in the scriptures. As a matter of fact, the nuclear missile is known as arrows in the scriptures. The Bible calls it. Okay, now let me deal with that. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 39, um, the intercepting of missiles. Uh, let's see here. Ezekiel uh, chapter 39 and verse 3. And it says, And I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, and will cause thy arrows to fall out of thy right hand. All right, so the Lord is going to intercept uh, the so-called white man uh, missiles, okay? Arrows, because in the day when it was written, you had arrows. Okay, you, but you didn't have the technology known as nuclear missile or missile. The missiles are compared to, in certain scriptures in the Bible, the missiles are compared to arrows. As a matter of fact, when a nuclear missile is stolen, the code name is broken arrow. Okay, that's the code name for a stolen nuclear missile. So, uh, that being said, like I said, you go in the book of Joel, the second chapter, Beginning at the second verse, it's a metaphor for those missiles. Now, when you jump down to the seventh verse, it says, They shall run like mighty men. Again, that's, that's those missiles. They shall climb the wall like men of war. Okay, because they, they, they climb the wall. Like in the, in the ancient world, when if you had a city, <coughs> or the cities were usually surrounded by walls, and to get into the city to attack uh, this is Revelation chapter 9 and verse 7. And it reads, And the shape of the locusts were like unto horses, prepared unto battle. And we know that this is uh, in, refer in, in reference to the angels. Okay? It says, Prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns as like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. Not nuclear missiles, man. All right? And they had hair as the hair of woman, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. All right? So that's what it's referring to in Joel. Attack the city or the inhabitants of the city, you'd have to go over the wall. Well, those missiles will have no problem coming into America in the, in, in the American airspace, okay? That's what it means. They shall climb the wall like men of war. They shall... That's a private interpretation. If you notice, it's no precepts to uh, back up its point. The scripture says, let every word be established out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. All right, and we know who those witnesses is referring to. It's referring to uh, the apostles, the prophets, and Yahweh Shai himself. All right, and this guy's using private interpretations. All right, adding and adding to the Lord's word and making the Bible uh, with doctrines of devils. March everyone on his ways. These missiles contain guided missile technology. Okay. And they shall not break their ranks. So you just heard the woman say that intercepting a missile is not going to be easy. And as soon as she said it in that video, that's the scripture that came into my mind. Joel, the second chapter. The ranks are the four horsemen, the four beasts, the four sword judgments, the four branches of the Lord's military. All right. That's the ranks. All right. Not nuclear missiles. Particularly the last part of the seventh verse, and they shall not break their ranks. So it will be almost impossible to intercept those missiles. Okay? Because they're not going to... Now this guy says it's going to be impossible to intercept those missiles. Alright, now according to the book of Ezekiel, what I just read, chapter 39... And verse 3, those missiles are going to get intercepted by Yahweh. It says, and I will smite, all right, I will intercept thy bow 
out of thy left hand, and I will cause thy arrow to fall out of thy right hand. All right, so those missiles uh, that these guys preach about uh, being the Lord's judgment, uh, that's the Lord is coming to destroy. He's going to not intercept uh, the so-called white man missiles. But you have these guys, all right, these false prophets, these uh, porn stars of Israel, uh, basically adding to the Lord's word, man, private interpretations. And remember, no prophecy is up for any private interpretation. All right, precept must be upon precept. Break their ranks. They're gonna. They they serve a purpose from Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and that is to destroy this place called America, man. To destroy it. Okay. But I just read where the Lord is going to destroy their missiles. So this guy, these GMS One West uh, frauds, man. All right. If in, anybody following this madness, man. All right, you need to examine the scriptures, man. All right, these guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. And when I post comments on a comment board uh, to challenge these guys on the madness they teach, they delete and block the comments, man, because they don't want you simple, all right, you simple guys to know the truth, man. All right? Reading on, it says, neither shall one thrust another. They, they shall not be intercepted. They shall walk everyone in his path, and when they shall fall upon the sword, trying to be intercepted, they shall not be wounded. In other words, to put it simply and plainly, that's referring to the angels, man. It's not referring to no damn missiles, man. This guy haven't used one precept yet to prove his point, all right? This is doctrines of devils, man, all right? So... Those missiles are not going to be intercepted. And you just heard the woman say it's going to be a very hard task to try to intercept those missiles. He, he referring to this woman in this article, but what about the scriptures? <clears throat> what about the scriptures? All right. Precept must be upon precept. All right. Okay. Once they're shot, they're going to accomplish that which they're supposed to, which is to, to destroy this place. Okay, so let's listen to some more of this uh, video here. And basically, that's the point on that. Um, I hope you brothers was edified. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.